Another day of remembrance has come and gone, but with this year marking the 100th anniversary of the end of World War I, an EKU student is working to make Memorial Day last all year long. Tiffany Jackson spoke with junior Michael Schultz, who is honoring a specific group of servicemen for Madison County. Since 1914, this plaque has been displayed on the wall of the Madison County Circuit Courthouse, but its contents recently caught the attention of history buff Michael Schultz. I wanted to spend some time looking at what people did to deserve to be commemorated like that. The plaque memorializes every man from Madison County who died during World War I, but Schultz wanted more. He started researching each name and trying to discover all of their stories. Another one is Jesse Dykes. He was actually the first Madison County soldiers to die. Schultz says there was one thing that was impossible to ignore. The first thing you're ever going to see about the plaque is that it does have two specific or two separate lists, um, one for the white soldiers and one for the colored soldiers. This made him want to pay special attention to the names on the colored list. They were fighting for the freedom of others that in many ways didn't fight for them. And that's incredibly admirable. Names like D. Walker. He was in the 807th uh, Pioneer Regiment. In fact, Schultz spent part of his Memorial Day yesterday cleaning Walker's gravestone, which he found in the Richmond Cemetery through his research. It's personally rewarding for me to know that um, when the next generation comes along, if somebody like myself uh, wants to find the grave of D. Walker or uh, Alexander Cornelison, that they can find them and that it's not going to be some broken stone somewhere that you can't read. Making sure every person lost is more than just a name on a plaque. Covering the news in Madison County, Tiffany Jackson, LEX 18 News. How amazing is that? Schultz hopes to put all of his findings together in a collection and wants the community's help. If you are the family member of a person on that plaque and you have documents or even pictures from their time in the military, Schultz would like you to contact him. We have posted his information for you on our website, lex18.com.